Good morning, J Bros family. How's it going? Well, I, I've been requested to show you how I do my DIY rod holder. So, we'll start at the bottom. Just this normal framing stud, inch and a quarter Fisner, uh, Forsner bit, excuse me. Uh, just mark them out about four inches on center, drill them out, and then just kind of drill them to the concrete, whatever you got. Mine was tight enough, I just kind of wedged it into place from the corner over there to over here at my little spigot. But up here is the fun part. What you got is a pool noodle split in half along the length of the pool noodle. And then same deal, the same measurements as your uh, stud down here. You do your measurements here, put a slit halfway through the pool noodle right here. And to mount it, you have a washer and a wood screw mounted to your stud and then put your rod right in there and it, they're awesome. It's just real easy. Take your rod, put it in your hole and then with me one hand in it here, it doesn't want to go back in there because this rod's kind of holding it down a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but there it is. Spinning rods too. Caleb won that rod yesterday at the SFL Christmas party, but all the way down. You can make these as long as you want. You can get the fatter tube if you want to be able to push the rod in there even more, but there it is, DIY fishing rod holder. Y'all be good. This is Larry Johnson from J Bros Lures. Hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, do whatever y'all want to, but y'all be good and take it easy.